Chandler, uh, tell us how the first half of spring ball has gone for you, you think? I feel the first half has gone really well. Um, just going through the offense, different installs. I've learned and picked up the offense pretty well, in my opinion. And I've received good foot feedback from my coaches as well. Just, you know, minor uh, things to fix. So just uh, progressions, um, some footwork things, just getting used to the concepts. Um, but that's, that's all a part of growing and learning the process. You played a lot of football. How much different is this system than what you're used to, or is it largely the same? Um, it's largely the same. Um, the similar reads, concepts, um, different terminology. So that, I'll say that's the biggest thing, you can use the terminology, but just concepts, reads, and as well as some of the footwork is the same. You know, used to. How would you assess kind of your relationship and connection with the receivers and running backs at this point, you know, compared to the start of spring? Uh, to the start of spring, is is definitely improved. Um, you know, I, I pick on different guys' uh, speed and their routes and how they typically like where balls are placed. Um, especially like incoming routes, just making sure it's below their chin, on their body. Um, you know, I have some guys who are in the slot that are really, really fast, so I know I have to get the ball out earlier for them. And there's a couple guys who are jump ball guys, so I know if, if when in doubt, I can just throw it up there if I have a chance to get it. How do you feel like you've progressed most over six practices so far, and personally? Uh, where I feel I've progressed most, uh, I would believe, is just being more vocal. Um, on the field as a leader, I would say, um, I was talking to Jack about that uh, during, during the practice today. He was like, hey, yeah, keep doing that and uh, being vocal, getting the guys together. And he was like, hey, really like that from you. And, you know, that's something I've definitely grown, grown to do, especially being new and, and coming to a new uh, team and new culture, just establishing myself, improving myself that I'm one of them. Coach sounded pretty stern in his kind of post-practice talk today. What do you take from kind of his message, and, and how do you kind of put that into practice yourself? Um, I agree with you because offensively, we, we were very slow. We, we lacked focus. There were some new concepts that we put in. Um, we have walkthroughs and everything like that. So we know what to do, but it's just that lack of focus just in the moment. That's something that we have to fix. We have to be sharp. We have to be sharp um, going through that in seven-on-seven in seven periods as a team because, I mean, that's, that's like a game. So just being sharpened that is, is really important for us to do. Uh, it feels like you guys have continued to kind of maybe work on different things every practice. Uh, how far along are you guys in terms of kind of building this offense and, and any part of it kind of standing out to you right now that's maybe ahead of the others? Um, I would say the run game is really, really good. Um, we tag different RPOs with it as well, and um, especially our tempo. You know, we have a set tempo plays, um, and I really like the new concepts that we put in um, with this last install. I mean, it, it really ties into everything that we have to do with our base install, and it really makes us a threat offensively. Uh, feels like you're getting a lot of the, the ball in the hand of a lot of playmakers, uh, yes. whether the receiver, running backs, all that. How, how vital is that going to be to your guys' success in the fall? It, it's, it's critical um, to us because. You can't just stop one person or two. You can't really just bracket one side and play man to the other. You have to be honest. You have to respect everybody on the field, and that, that's very dangerous. Uh, we're talking to Fernando about some of the RPO stuff. It feels like that's been a big emphasis, at least this week, uh, yes. working with the running backs a lot. What are some key things in, that go through your mind that you're focusing on in those kind of situations? Um, just making sure I'm keying in on, on my read, who I'm supposed to read during the RPO, and just making sure I'm making the right decision where if I'm going to pull and throw the ball, hand it off, or if it's a run run scenario where I pull the ball based off of pressure. Uh, you guys aren't getting hit a lot, and probably won't for the entire of spring. Uh, is that a hindrance to a quarterback at all? Do you want to be in a position where you're like taking some shots to at least get familiar with? Or are you cool with like, hey, I don't need to get hit? Um, personally, I, I like going live because it's just more realistic. You have like sacks in game. I could probably break the sack. Yeah, I'm, I'm able to do a threat, so I'm able to run. I could probably make tackles, make a miss. So it's just more realistic to a game. I don't mind being hit. So um, I'm in favor for being live as a quarterback, but I do understand and why I know why quarterbacks are not live because it's, they're a vital part of the team. They want you to be around in August still. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. Hey, Chandler, I'm Chef Ferrado. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Appreciate it. Thanks Thank so much. Thanks some more. Nice to meet you.